at the end of the uh, semester. But right now I got a B plus in her class. So if I do well on the final, I'll be boosted up to an A. I think it's an 89%. So if I do good on the final, I'll boost up. Anyway, enough about my finals. We're in the Lost Woods. Basically, how the Lost Woods work is you have to listen to how strong the music is to figure out where to go. I basically know where to go because I've played the game so many times. I might get mixed up here and there, though. Not there. Hey, over here, hoo-hoo. D-Helm, good to see you again. Listen to this, hoot hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. If you are courageous, you will make it through. The forest, just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoo, toot. Ow. My headset's actually hurting me. That's odd. Sorry about that if there's any, like, ruffling. I was adjusting my headset. Alright. He just came from here. So basically, we're gonna take a right, and then a left. That leads to the Zora's domain. And I think it's actually straight up again. Yep, and then a left. And then a right. Welcome to the Sacred Forest Meadow. Grab your sword and shield because right off the bat we run into a Stalfos. Right? Wolfos, sorry, excuse me. Stalfos is a skeleton. Come on. Come on, come at me, bro. Come on, let's go. So you're supposed to actually wait for him to try and attack you and then you stab at him. I was just being lame. Come on. And he's dead, that opens the gate. Now we can continue on. Now you'll need to be careful, there are Deku scrubs in here, who will want to shoot their seed at you. And that is not an adult joke. Those are legit seeds. Well boom. Now if you actually wanted to deal with them, you just have to hold your shield up and it'll uh, smack back into them like any other Deku scrub. I don't feel the need to deal with them, so... We're just gonna go up here. Now you'll notice the forest temple is right up there. So close, yet so far. We'll be back here pretty soon. And there's Saria. I've been waiting for you, D-Helm. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel... This place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the Ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the Ocarina with me? Can you play? Yes! Okay, try to follow along with the melody. I will play. Are you ready? I'm Rebecca, Rebecca Chambers. Chris. Surya's song, The Lost Woods Theme. Doo 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 doo. I can actually play that on my ocarina. <laughs> Noise, right? Great, great. Please, don't forget this song. Do you promise? I promise. When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk to, with me anytime. 
no parking anytime. Come back anytime. I get a stare at my ocarina as it sparkles. So mysterious. It plays music, I think. You've learned Surya's song. Time to leave. That was fun, wasn't it? Now we get to walk all the way back to Darunia. It's not all bad. Wait, we also have... It, ow. Rude. We can climb up here. And there's a fairy fountain. We're gonna pick up a fairy using our small bottle that we got. Or our... Our bottle that we did get. It is an empty bottle. Ba boom. Bottle of fairy. Basically, bottling a fairy, basically what it does is if you pull it out while you're alive, uh, it actually restores all your health. If you die, though, it will revive you. Very useful. I use it for the reviving purposes. Or like if I'm going up against the boss uh, and end up de or coming close to death, and I don't have another fairy with me, then I tend to pull one out to go ahead and just restore my health. I'm trying to think, if it revives you, I'm wanting to say uh, it doesn't fill up your health completely. Hoo hoo, did you learn an awkward song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with C, where melody is necessary, musical staff will appear, yada yada yada. No, I don't need to hear it again. No! Thank you. Will it be recorded on the quest status subscreen? Yes, I understand. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Owl. Now go fly off. And now we can leave. And we're gonna have to go all the way back to Dorunia. Unless you guys wanna stop by Lon Lon Ranch by chance. Can I get that yet? We can get another Aquina song if we wanted. Yeah, why not? It should be daytime by the time we get over there. And it's a stop on the way, I suppose. It's not like it's out of the way, exactly. Well, I guess it is a little bit out of the way, actually. Oh well, I already decided to do it. Oh well. Javi, I don't care what you have to say. I see you blinking up there. But I don't care. Navi annoys me sometimes. Like, of all of the companions in a Zelda game, she annoys me the most. She's just always on you. My favorite companion out of all of them is Midna, though. It has to be said, I absolutely love Midna. Lon Lon Ranch, welcome guys. Here we can get our second bottle in this house, I'm wanting to say. Yes. Ooh, mumble mumble, huh? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be if it ain't the forest kid from around the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got my lawn back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? Now, these three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm gonna go throw them on these cuckoos into those three into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you just something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be ten rupees. Want to play? Of course. Yeah, thirty. Okay, start looking. 
So basically, one of them goes over in this corner, and I just missed him barely. One. And one of them should be here. I think it's you. Nope. So basically, my strategy is to start picking them up, throwing them in a corner together. There's another one. Come on, controller! Is it you? Come on, controller! Ah! No! Oh, I wasted 10 rupees. Too bad, time's up. These are some great cuckoos, aren't they? They're ranking for money for me. Come back to me, my babies. That was only 10 rupees. Wanna try again? Young man like you must have a real fire in your belly. Find three of them within 30 seconds. Try again for five rupees? Yes. I should have been able to get it that time. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, well. That one. It's one of you two over here. Yeah, there it is. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. Hey, you. You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. How'd you like to marry Milan, huh? Uh... 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 Yeah? Oh, oh, I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm proud to be present. I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own Lomon milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. Well, Kaku, get out of the way of the screen, thank you. And so we get another bottle. It becomes an empty bottle if we use up the milk inside. What the milk does is, I believe, one drink completely refills your health. Kind of acts like the potion in uh, Zelda 1. Uh, drinking it once refills all your health, and then you get a second uh, dose of it, which will completely refill your health as well. I think. I could be wrong. Hola. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name's Epona. Isn't she cute? She's gonna run off. Epona doesn't like us. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. And if you click down... Oh, cute Ocarina. Are you going to play this song with that Ocarina? And so we get to play Epona's song. And now Ipona will come up to us. As well as us being able to stare at our Ocarina with mysterious eyes like, Oh my gosh, this is only the fourth time this has happened. And not the last. Not by any... I don't understand why Kabora Gabor is, you know, watching us slowly from there, but... Now Epona likes us, and they're going to follow me around. Oh, Epona, she's grown fond of you, fairy boy. Thank you, Epona. We'll need that for later. We probably won't come back to Lon Lon Ranch until much later, I'd want to say. Can we get the piece of heart in the back? Is that a thing? I think we can at this point, yes. There is a piece of heart in the far back of this area. I wanted to say. We'll go ahead and pick it up. I'm gonna have to remember which pieces of heart 
Because usually, like, if I'm going to do collect-a-thon type things, I make a list of the items that I'm picking up, and I mark them off as I go. I've not made a list yet, though. So I'm going to have to remember which items that I've exactly picked up. Um, right, so we need to figure out this puzzle. I'm going to want to pull... Let's see. We'll pull you out this way. Right, pull you... No, we're going to pull you out this way. Oh. 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 Uh, what did you grab onto there, Link? I'm pretty sure that was thin air. Oh. Um. Actually, I think we need to pull this all the way back. Pull you up this way. We need to pull you slightly this way. So that we can push it the rest of the way. And then pull you this way. And then if you come over here, you notice that there's a hole we can crawl into. And you can see the piece of heart sitting there in the back. Dun 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 dun! Now we've collected three. Nice. Ooh, is there a fourth one we could pick up somewhere around here? I wanted to say there's not another one we can pick up at the moment. Probably very wrong, but... I suppose at the moment we will go back to Kakariko Village and up Death Mountain again. Ah, we could pick one up in Death Mountain. Eh, I can wait. We've already got four heart containers. One piece of heart to make a fifth. Won't matter as much. In fact, it would be a sixth after we complete the next dungeon, so... There you go. And we'll go in here. And leave. getting tired guys I don't know how how late I'm gonna stay up I know it's already 11 so this game does take a lot longer when you're actually talking about what's going on uh, you know reading some of the dialogue it's ten times longer if you actually read all the dialogue in the game because I know in my playthrough that I'm doing on my DS, like playing for an hour, I don't know how long I played for, but I know it was at least an hour. It couldn't have been two, two hours, and I was actually already finished with the first three dungeons and finished everything that I needed and on my way into adulthood. So, it couldn't have been two hours, and in my Let's Play, it's already been two hours, and of course you can see, we're only just now getting to climbing up the mountain, uh, the second time to go back to Darunia. So it does take a little bit longer with reading dialogue and such to uh, get things done in the Let's Play. The game actually is a lot shorter if you just skip some of the dialogue, like I tend to do. Uh, 
I don't want to call it blind faith, but like since I already know how the game works and how it plays out, I don't need to exactly read it all. So I just, you know, skim through it very lightly, as in I skip a whole just section of the dialogue, don't read any of it, and go on with life. And into Goron City we go. That's one thing about uh, the Nintendo 64 versions of the Zelda games. Sadly, like, a bunch of the character models were re reused between Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. So, like, I'll get to characters like Milan and want to call her Romani now. Or, like, Anju, uh, I believe the Cucko Lady. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, what we want to do, play Saria's song for him. It will raise his spirits. He's a little dance. He seems to be really getting into it. Oh! Oh, oh! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Whoa! Yeah! Yahoo! There we go. Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Dorunia. You'll notice that Gorons actually have a tradition of wanting to dance their sorrows away. Uh, they do that even back in Oracle of Seasons and Ages, which I will eventually play. I am Dorunia. I am the bo big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the Spiritual Stone of Fire, too? Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's Cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everyone will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the Spiritual Stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. You got the Goron bracelet. Now, I want to notice... Yeah, I guess it does show. I was thinking that was a new thing in the 3DS remake, was it actually shows no, I don't want to ever talk to you, Navi. It actually shows the bracelet on them. So once he got the bomb flower, flower bracelet, you can see it's there on his arm. I thought that was brand new because, like, I noticed it. It's a lot more noticeable in the 3DS version. But I noticed it, and I was kind of like, whoa, did they used to do that? But I guess they did. My bad. I know you could ch uh, see it with the gauntlets as an adult. I didn't think they added the bracelet as a noticeable piece of armor as the kid, though. So, played it 40 times and I'm still noticing other things. That proves no matter how many times you play a game, you'll always n notice something new. It's always worth playing some games multiple times. Multiple, multiple times. We're gonna go ahead and pick up this flower and just toss it over. Now, if we're lucky, it should destroy all of those rocks. Yep. Now, what we can do is the quick way down, jump over here, and jump over here. Oh no, it gave off a bunch of rupees. 
Oh well. I guess I didn't lose any health anyway. I was about to say, if I lose health, then I was gonna pick up the uh, hearts that the rocks gave off, but none, no hearts were lost, and none of the rocks gave off hearts to begin with. Welcome to Dodongo's Cavern. Now, at this rate, I might not even finish this dungeon, and I will be falling asleep. So I'm gonna save. And it has basically been another hour of recording. I'm going to go take a break. Thank you all for watching. That was like another couple of episodes. And I will see you all in the next episode where we will start to Dongo Cavern. See you all then.